so hello buddy is very good afternoon hope of doing fine and a uh, lot of candidates have been asking about what are the things they should focus on uh, bips uh, base erosion and profit sharing before we just check up uh, let's uh, quickly check out a broad blueprint for uh, data tax so there are two ways to come out of this uh, ocean called dd one is having complete control on uh, assessment procedures pgbp and assessment of various entities uh, the tax labs and all those things and there are a uh, second category of people which includes me in that bucket and that's how i came out of uh, group 2 and that is focusing on the theoretical aspects like uh, bips and uh, international taxation like transfer pricing dt etc the choice is all yours but there is no room for because considering most of you are giving one group or uh, there is a significant amount of time here and there left i would recommend you to cover all the topics as much as possible because you never know which one will strike your mind at the exam center so with that background let's quickly check out what are the key things which you should not uh, skip in webs so first one is what are the various action plans that is a uh, coherence transparency uh these are the uh, three key things the action pillars they are popularly called they might be uh, come for uh, mcq question or 2 uh, to 3 marks in question 6 coherence substance and transparency what is the which of the following is not a part of action plans or action pillars of bips you might get a question so the option will be the other than coherence uh, substance and the transparency so next one is elaborate on the multilateral instrument or properly called as mli so what is that and next one is another thing very very important question you should focus upon is illustration 2 and test your knowledge question 4 and next significant economic presence there is very rarely any question uh, question paper without testing this topic and next one is compatibility clauses which is very very important then you should focus upon the four minimum mandatory standards under bips which is very 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 important and lastly elaborate on the adverse effects of bips so overall all these things so sir how much time should i invest on all these things should i invest 10 to 12 hours absolutely a stick no so you should invest maximum 4 to 6 hours because the output before you start any any topic be is transferizing be is bips or be it, uh, or uh, any other topic in mutual funds or any chapter for uh, whatsoever how much marks it's going to fetch me so how much time i should allocate this is the level of planning that is required for professional exams and you should plan it and accordingly you should execute op for the discussion is a lot more exciting exciting things coming away all the very best and keep going and stay focused and do subscribe do make the use of it and uh, all the very best once again